This is me as a slave to my nine to five hospital job. When all of COVID broke loose, I lost my house and I couldn't even see my family because I worked in a high risk area. This on the other hand is me as an online music production coach, making more than the doctors I used to work for all while making my own schedule and working at my own pace. If you're a creative coach, whether you teach music, dance, photography, any creative skill, you're about to learn my secrets to building an online coaching business that made me more money than a doctor, all while buying back 40 hours per week of my life from my job. And you can do all of this while making such a massive impact on your clients' lives that they just won't shut up about your coaching business, which brings you more clients and makes you more money. I'll dive more into the details later, so make sure you stick around to the end of this video. It'll be 100% worth it, unless of course you hate making a lot of money and having a lot of free time. My name is Chris. I'm an independent music producer who's been able to build an online coaching business that makes me multiple six figures every year at time of this recording simply by teaching other people music production. Look, if you have your own coaching business, you're probably running into one or more of these problems. First one, everyone you attract seems to be broke and can't afford your services or you just attract a bunch of people that aren't dedicated and willing to actually learn. You might subconsciously be attracting these types of people with the messaging that you're putting out in your marketing and you don't even realize it. It took me a long time to realize this even after going full time because in marketing we're taught to talk about pain points and problems but what we don't realize is that we might be talking about the wrong problems. The problems that attract people who are struggling in different areas of their life, including just trying to make ends meet. Secondly, you're probably trading your time for money. Doing one-on-ones is a really good way to get started, but it's probably holding back your growth. Many coaches are stuck in this one-on-one -on -one cycle where they spend all their time with clients teaching the same concepts over and over individually instead of spending their time getting more clients and making more money to grow their business faster. And this is actually costing you more money than you think. Even if you get more one-on-one -on -one clients, you just end up losing more time because you could have spent that time on activities that bring you income instead of just teaching people the same things over and over. Third, you're probably making content, posting, and praying every day not knowing when the next client is actually going to come in. With the little time you have left after doing one-on-ones, you're probably forcing content ideas so that you hit your daily post quota just to have your post underperform because of the platform's algorithm and dealing with shadow banning. But even then, you never know when the next client or the next paycheck is coming. Fourth, you're scared to raise your prices because you think you'll lose sales. You know that if you raise your prices, it would solve so many problems and it would help you so much but you can't afford to get any no's because you're not sure when the next time someone will respond to your post saying that they're interested in your services. Now, I know it might feel impossible to break out of this current situation that you're in, but there is a solution. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to attract the clients that are perfect for you, who are dedicated, they invest, and they're easy to coach. Second, I'm going to show you how to build a business that allows you to detach your income from your time so that you're not slaving away for money. Third, I'm going to show you how to charge thousands of dollars and basically having people get on their knees and begging you to let them pay you. Fourth, I'm going to show you how to automate your process for turning complete strangers into high paying clients. So let's talk about how we solve these problems. The first thing is attracting your perfect client who is dedicated, ready to invest and easy to coach. Now, let's rewind for a second so that you fully understand what just happened. Earlier in this video, I spoke about problems my ideal clients are having, but not just any problems, specific problems only action takers would have. Let's be real. Would you be this far in the video if you didn't relate to these problems I mentioned earlier? If you're still here, there's clearly a level of dedication to solving the problems I mentioned in the beginning of this video. No procrastinator is going to have the problem of posting all the time with little results or spending too much time doing one-on-ones. They're too busy procrastinating on getting started. Now, if I would have pointed out the wrong problems like not sure where to start or having trouble staying motivated. I would have probably attracted a bunch of people who are stagnant and not doing much to grow their business. It's a small nuance, but it makes a massive difference. The problems that you talk about in your marketing are subconsciously attracting the types of people 
that deals with those problems. Make sure you're intentionally talking about the right problems, the problems of successful people, the problems of people that try, not people who are struggling just to stay motivated. So your understanding of your market and who you want to bring in is extremely vital, as well as putting out the right message to attract the right people without wasting a bunch of time or a bunch of money on ads, spending it on people who weren't going to buy from you anyways. If you're constantly talking to people who can't afford your services, there's probably something small that you're doing to attract these people that you don't even realize. So that's how we solve the first problem. You call out problems of only successful people or dedicated people who are actually trying would have, not problems people with no money or tire kickers would have. And this is just the beginning, so keep watching for the super sauce. The second thing, this is how we build a business that allows us to detach our time from our income so that we're not slaving away for money. The problem with one-on-ones is that you have a ceiling, and that ceiling is time. We all have 24 hours in a day, not one minute more, so the most that you can make is charging for 24 hours worth of work. And that means you're not sleeping, you're not eating, you're not drinking, you're not thinking. Sure, you can hire more people, but you're still going to hit that same ceiling with everyone you bring in, which continues to cost you more just to fulfill for your clients. But the truth is, your clients don't even want to buy your time. Sorry to burst your bubble, but they don't want to buy my time either. They're just in it for themselves. They only buy your time because they believe that you can get them to the outcome that they truly want if they spent time with you. You are literally the bridge to their desire. Why not just sell them that outcome anyways instead of selling your time? Because to them, it's more valuable anyways. Think about it. It's the same for you. You don't want money. It's just paper and numbers on a screen. Money is your bridge to that lifestyle that you truly want. That would be like me trying to sell you on a job, saying that you'll get to work eight hours a week, you get to work 40 hours a week, you get weekends off. Why not just go in for the kill and say, you'll make this much money so that you can afford to travel, you can afford to spend time with your family. That's what someone truly wants out of a job, not to work 40 hours a week. The great thing is, if all that matters in the end is the client gets the results, then the delivery method doesn't matter as much as long as they can get that result. That means that you don't have to end up doing one-on-ones or spending all this time, but you do have to make sure that you do get them a result. This is where you can start leveraging technology and automations to buy your time back. Now, there's a few things that your clients need in order to be successful. One is information. Two is correcting their problems before they become habits. Three is accountability to make sure they're taking the right steps. Now this is the high ticket hybrid system that I use to spend less time teaching, but making sure my clients get what they need in order to succeed. There's five different layers to this. A course, group coaching, some one-on-ones, tech support, and a community. I'm going to break it down so you see why this works so well. The course helps you alleviate having to show up and teaching the same concepts over and over. If you're getting your clients to one specific outcome, then obviously they're going to have to go down a similar path. So you might as well have all those lessons that you have to teach all in a course anyways. Think about it. When you teach somebody live, it's hard for them to retain every single lesson from that session. So when they get home, they think, what did he say about about that one thing again then they either have to bother you or they have to wait until the next session you guys get together in order to ask you the question but usually when that time comes around they've forgotten the question anyways so it slows down their growth with the course they literally can just go back to that video watch that lesson so they get their questions answered and they don't even have to bother you also a course is an asset that they can use forever they can always go back and refresh on the lessons that they forgot as well it becomes an evergreen asset to you you can always tweak it optimize it and make it better without having to start from scratch. And, and the best part is you don't have to sit down, get all this fancy gear together, put all these fancy recordings and pre-record them before you start making money. In fact, there's a way that you can make money before you even create the course itself. This helps because your clients get to learn live, they get to ask questions, and you get a bunch of feedback on your program before you even create the course and waste all your time. And you can do all this by teaching it live, recording all those lessons 
lessons and you can get all the feedback so you can adjust the final product when it comes time to actually make it. Group coaching is also very vital and very helpful because there's a bunch of people that are on the same path to the same outcome and that sparks a lot of ideas and really helps your clients learn off of each other. It doesn't matter if you have one client or if you have 50 clients, you can just put them all on one call, answer all their questions at once instead of doing it all separately. For example, a lot of students tend to ask the same questions since they are on the same path learning the same concepts, but there's times that other students forget to ask that same question because they're worried about another problem. But since one of the students asked the question, it answers it for everybody, and then you don't have to repeat yourself constantly over and over. They're on the same path, they're learning the same thing, of course repeat questions are going to come up, so why not address them all at the same time? They also get to see different situations and different angles to approach things from other students. So it really helps having the students together so that they can learn off of each other. And as students get further along and understand more, it relieves a lot of the teaching pressure off of you and they can learn from the community as a whole. So you can still include one-on-ones. You just want to make sure that you're not doing one-on-ones for every single thing. You want to make sure you save the one-on-ones for the biggest roadblocks on that path to them learning or just the most important situations. Obviously, the great thing about one-on-ones is that they get specific attention and they get tailored help for specific issues. So instead of using one-on-ones to teach the same concept over and over, you can reserve these meetings to help them overcome major milestones that they're going to run into. When you do this, students show up more prepared with better questions. They value your time more and they don't waste your time asking simple little things that they can figure out themselves. Having tech support is also very great because it allows you to avoid having to show up for meetings and scheduling time just to answer simple questions. It also solves the problem of time sensitive questions. There may be questions that come up that your clients need and they need answers answered quickly and it can't wait until the next meeting. So you can answer them whenever the question comes up. Having this text or DM support just helps gives them that support that they need without taking up more of your calendar space. And the fifth thing is having that community. This allows students to bounce ideas off each other, this allows them to teach each other, and it also relieves burden off of you. Once enough students have gone through the process, the advanced students tend to help the people that are in the beginning. This also allows them more networking opportunities, and this also gives you a chance to upsell your products to people who have already bought from you, trust you, and like you. So just to recap, the five things that make a powerful coaching business is having a course, having group coaching, having one-on-ones, having text support, and having a community. So how do we fix this problem of posting and praying every day and not knowing when the next client is actually going to come in? The obvious problem with posting content and organic marketing is the inconsistency. We never know which post is going to do well or reach enough people. It's hard to test its effectiveness, it consumes a lot of your time, and you're at the mercy of the platform's algorithm, which likes to throttle our reach. Do you ever notice your engagement going down, or do you ever hear about people getting shadow banned? It's frustrating when platforms play with you, especially when your bills and putting food on your table is on the line. And so the best way to get out of this vicious cycle is dialing in paid ads. You know your ads will get the reach because you're paying for it, you just have to focus on making a good ad with the right messaging. You can split test nearly every everything from your hook to copywriting to video to images. You can set up a working ad that constantly keeps working for you as long as you feed it money from the money that you're already making from clients that it brings you. And you don't have to worry about its virality. It will show your audience as long as you're targeting and your creative is dialed in. Now, traffic is the first thing that we need, but even if our ads and our content works, where are we even sending them? So instead of posting blindly, hoping someone messages you, hoping that you handled the DM conversation right to make sure they buy from you, or even worse, sending them to a website with a bunch of confusing pricing options and distractions that don't even help them like your about me page, you need to have a reliable system that handles the persuasion for you, but at the same time relieves all their concerns. So here's the secret sauce to turning a complete stranger into somebody who's begging to give you money. The secret is a high ticket sales funnel and here's how it works we take traffic to a landing page on that landing page we collect their email and their phone number we take them to a training that persuades them and gives them information then they get taken to an application page where they apply to get on the phone with you then they're taken to a calendar page to pick an available time for the both of you and on that day 
they will get on the phone with you and you will enroll them as a client. Why this works so well is because there's only one action step per page. They either take the action or they leave. They do or they don't. It's a yes or it's a no. There's not a ton of options that creates all this confusion and decision fatigue. You gotta remember that a confused person does not buy. So let's break down each element. First, we need traffic from either ads or organic marketing, and we wanna take them to one page, which is the landing page. All that you're asking for on this page is their name, email, and phone number in exchange for something valuable to your ideal client. Not valuable to everybody, just your ideal client. And you wanna offer them a training that solves problems only your niche is having. That way, it's specifically targeted to attract the right people and repel everybody else. After they sign up on that landing page, they get taken to a training page, and there's one video that educates them, explains everything you offer, handles all their concerns, and motivates them to take action and want to book a phone call with you. If they want to book that call, they click the button and they get taken to an application page. This is where they answer some questions to make sure that they are a good fit for your program. If they answer anything that is a red flag, they will be taken to a denial page so that you only save your calendar space for the best possible fits. Once their application is filled out, they get taken to a calendar page. They choose a time where both of you are available for the call, and once they book that call, it automatically sends them more information and things to prepare them for the call to make your life easier. That way you don't have to sit there and persuade them. The information handles it for you. Then next, all you have to do is on that time that they booked, you get on the call with them, you figure out what they need, and if you can help them, you make them an offer and you enroll them as a client. Now, the reason why this is so effective is because of the phone call. In a world where everything is digital and automated, adding a little personal human touch makes all the difference. They truly feel like you know their problems if you listen well enough you know what their excuses are gonna be so that you can help them make the best decisions for themselves. It removes the competition because it's just a one-on-one -on -one conversation. There's no one else involved. It evokes emotion too. And that's where most people make their decisions from is emotions. It also helps you build the relationship as you get to know them. People want to work with people that they trust. And that's even more important than skills or accolades. People want to work with people they trust. This also removes the need for you having to deal with headache clients. You know, the ones that don't show up, the ones that ghost you and they ask for refunds. Instead, you get to pick and choose who you work with. So the fourth problem is charging more. So this is how you charge thousands of dollars and have people practically getting on their knees and begging you to take their money. Now be honest with yourself. Do you ever have these thoughts floating around in your brain? The value of what you give is worth way more than what you're charging for it. But people just don't believe it. Or they just don't have the money to truly pay what you're worth. Do you ever ask the question, what if I raise my prices? But what if it scares everyone away and I lose all my clients? But my audience is broke. The truth is, you will scare some people away. You'll scare away the people that are least dedicated, who don't show up, ghost you on payday, and ask for refunds. And in return, you'll attract the people who are dead serious. Look, tire kickers look for low risk, low cost options in case they don't want to follow through with it. They're only out a couple bucks. When you try something new for the first time, do you normally go all in and get the most expensive option? No, because you're just dipping your toes in the water. The most dedicated people will invest a lot more if it means it will solve their problem because living with the problem costs more to them. If you've ever wanted something or lived with a problem long enough, your desperation to solve it grows, and that's the same with your clients. And did you know the first judgment call someone makes on your brand is your pricing? To a serious person, the more expensive something is, it increases the assumption of there must be a reason why this is expensive. To that same person, if something seems too cheap, they're skeptical it'll work. They think this is too good to be true. And I'll prove it. If I handed you a brand new Rolex Daytona, right? You know this is worth a lot of money. And I said, I'll sell it to you for only $500. What's your first assumption? Fake! Even if it was real, there would be so many red flags going off in their heads, they'd be looking for every single little flaw. If you were to tell someone who is truly dedicated to learning and solving their problem, you could help them massively, 
then you charge them a low price, they would be thinking to themselves, there's no way something this cheap could solve that big of a problem. So raising your prices will deter those people who aren't serious, but it attracts the people who are most dedicated. If you have higher prices, you don't need as many clients. So the price offsets the need to have a large number of clients to hit the same income goal. It leaves you with less headache, less clients to deal with, more money, and more time. This is also extremely helpful for your clients. It makes them have more skin in the game so that they show up more coachable, which means that they will learn more and they will get the results. I've bought many thousand dollar courses that I forgot that I bought and never even created a login. It's not that a thousand dollars isn't a lot, but I know that I could make that money back in one paycheck. And that's a lot easier than uprooting all my daily bad habits and giving all the efforts to change my life. But when I invested $10,000 into a high ticket coaching program, I had to borrow money. I took out a loan. I took out money from my savings. I had to make it work. Failing was not an option. I did every single thing that coach told me to do, even if I dreaded it. I did it anyways. That's the only reason I'm in this position here today to be able to speak to you about this. If I didn't have that much skin in the game, I'd still be at a nine to five doing a job that I hated. So if I didn't spend that $10,000 and didn't take the action, it would have costed me way more than 10K. It would have costed me a career, my own business, my time freedom doing what I love with the people that I love. I'd still be at a nine to five until I was 65, finally retire and live life scarcely off my 401k. I wouldn't have the time or reason to make a video or speak about any of this. The best thing you can do for your client is have them go all in on what they've been afraid to face themselves. And I truly believe this. So quick story time. Here's how I stumbled on this magical business model. All I ever wanted to do was make a living off of my music, but I struggled for over a decade. 10 years, I could not crack the code of the business side of things. I kept falling on my face and starting over and over. I finally decided to get a coach. Way too late, by the way, because I could have spent those 10 years growing my business if I knew what to do exactly in the beginning, instead of constant trial and error and falling on my face. All to just save a few bucks. That cost me 10 years of my life and 10 years worth of growth in my business that I still to this day cannot get back. Mind you, most music producers suck at business, so I looked in other industries for a business coach. My coach taught how to sell high ticket products and coaching packages. I just translated it to selling music. It finally worked. I'm making a living with my music, but not without 10 years of struggle that could have been avoided. With this idea that I learned from him, I started a coaching business. I decided to help others avoid the 10 years of struggle that I went through. So I started finding some success with this coaching business, making multiple six figures, and kind of just assumed that every coach made this kind of money. As I started speaking to more coaches, I kept hearing about how they just wanted to tear their hair out doing one-on-ones constantly. They just didn't have enough time, and they're spending all their time teaching the same thing over and over to somebody else. They were charging per hour, and they just didn't have enough hours in a day to make the income that they truly wanted. I thought, maybe I can help them too. I started showing a few people this model that I use and these coaches saw results almost instantly. Within weeks, I saw their faces light up and a bunch of weight off their shoulders. They were making more money than they were before and they had even more time back. The fact that it changed their lives so much motivated me to make this a real thing. I can change more lives. I can expand my business even further. It was a no brainer. So here is what I have for you. If you're a coach who wants to grow their online business, you have two choices at this point. One, you can take what you learned here, go at it alone, just like I tried for 10 years. Wasn't my favorite. Two, you can schedule a free call to talk to me and help you set up a game plan to get you to a point of financial freedom in your business. And from experience, the first option might save you a few bucks today if you're thinking in short term, but it will cost you astronomically more in the long term. Trust me, I paid the cost. And most people will take this first option, but I want you to look around and look at most people. Do they have what you want? Just a thought, right? If you decide to go with option two and get on a call with me, this is what we're going to do for you. First, we're gonna do an audit on your current situation and look at what you have to see what the best next move is in your business to grow your income and free up more time for yourself. If we feel like we can help you on a deeper level, then I will explain what that looks like. I want you to note though, if I feel like working together is the best option for you, only then will I make you an offer. 
All of my coaching offers are by invite only. Just because you have a pulse and a credit card doesn't mean you're getting in. I don't even make offers to 60% of the people that I speak to. Your goals and my teachings have to align. No questions asked. I truly don't want any clients that are going to affect my business in a negative way. And I just want to be honest about that. The idea of this call is to see if we can create an offer that's worth selling for high ticket prices, depending on what you have. Figure out what the best marketing strategy for you is, whether that's going in organic, whether that's going in ads, and what type of ads to run. And we also want to figure out if we can attract the right clients, depending on who you're going after. And we want to set up a strategy for you to be able to enroll them into your high ticket program. So please only schedule this call if you're absolutely serious about growing an online coaching business. Calls will be canceled if we don't feel like you're serious. So this is for serious people only. So click the button below or around this video that you see in order to book your call. You'll be taken to a page where you fill out a couple questions to see if we're a good fit to work together and it'll take you to my calendar page with all the availability so that you can pick a time that works best for us to get on the phone together. Please be mindful of the calendar availability. Please only book a time that you know that you can make. If you've been trying to figure this out on your own for a while now and you're not where you want to be, you could be paying the same price that I did when I didn't believe in coaches and you don't even realize it. Here's a fun exercise to do. First of all, let me ask you, do you truly believe that there are other people in your industry that are making the type of money that you want to make? Look, I'm in the brokest industry ever, and even I can sell high ticket. You ever heard of the whole broke musician stigma? Look, it's a real thing, right? So if I can make more than a doctor selling to the brokest niche, the brokest industry ever, I'm sure that you can too. And trust me, I didn't believe it myself either at first, but I took the leap and now I'm a true, true believer because I've seen it happen for myself. So here's the exercise. Take the amount of money that you want to make in a year and then take your income that you make now and subtract it from the number you want to make. So let's say your goal is 200K per year and you're currently making, let's just say, 100K. If you subtract 100K from 200K, the answer is 100K. So what is this number? This is the amount of money that you are paying every single year not knowing the right strategies to get to your goal. 200K. So you're paying 100K every single year not knowing how to make 200K. And how many years has it been? Now multiply that. This is how much you've paid already. Now, if you're tired of going at it alone, and not hitting your true potential, and seeing money just leak through your fingers, click that button below, book that phone call now, and let's see if we can help you stop burning money. So if you're an action taker, I will speak to you soon. For everybody else, I wish you the best with everything. Cheers. Chris is my business coach and I could not recommend him enough. He is not only really kind and encouraging, but he's super knowledgeable and he knows how to give you the right amount of push to get things really going. I have been working with him for literally less than a month. And in my first week of launching this program, I already have four high ticket clients. I was too scared for over a year to create this program by myself, but now with Chris's help, he is making sure that I am keeping up with how fast things are moving. It's crazy. <laughs> So crazy. If you're unsure about working with Chris, just know he truly works from a place of integrity and he would not want to work with you if he didn't think he could truly help you. He's not only going to teach you what you need to know, but he's going to fix your mindset so you can get some big results. After just one week of working with Chris, I'm already charging three times more for the same exact products that I was already selling and selling a lot more frequently, getting lots more leads. And uh, I can't believe it's just one week. I'm so excited to continue this course and see what else I can learn and uh, just get better and better every day. I. Uh, I'm so thankful that I invested in myself to take this step for myself and my business and my life. And I've already, I've already made my investment back in just one week. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited. Working with Chris at High Value Creatives has been the best coaching program that I've been a part of. In less than a month, I landed my first ever $3,000 paid in full customer. And that has been huge for me. 
Chris has also helped me come up with a repeatable process and his sales training is so, so great. So if you're on the fence about joining or if you feel like maybe it's not something you're 100% sure about, rest assured, your investment is gonna be totally safe with Chris. It's gonna help you a lot and it is gonna take your coaching business to the next level. I used to struggle to get anywhere between $500 to $1,500 a month and now in just my first week, uh, of the month of June, I've over doubled. And just in less than three weeks of working with Chris, I've been doing really well. So I highly recommend you join Chris with High Value Creatives.